Here we are in the in room. Nokra. I finally went with. That's what I put on the uh, the uh, signs. Put up a rather big ice house, which is completely unrealistically positioned next to a triple rail line. <coughs> also put this up. Some small houses as well, but this is like a water processing plant. Slide from here. Also not very realistic. I don't know. I don't know what goes through my head sometimes. This is waiting for uh, 1.13 when the water will uh, sit on half slabs. Um, although I am concerned that it will pour through and then through and simply spread everywhere. Because um, my impression that I've gotten is that uh, in in 1.13 these half blocks and stairs will become water sources, um, which means yeah the, 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 it should pass itself along to the next block and then just leak out the bottom. So this will probably need modifying after release. Hmm. Um, this bit will need to tweak in too because the same thing will happen. Uh, the water won't won't actually run in this channel. It will cover the steps. It's just like I don't know how they've done it actually, but it's basically two blocks on top of each other. Essentially, that's how it, how it will function. But <clears throat> I'm not here to discuss what's happening in future Minecraft updates. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much satisfied with all the building here. I don't feel the need to add any more. Um, I went ahead here and really opened out the hole. Um, this is... The hole is natural. There were a few columns of sand fallen through, um, but I've knocked out most of the ceiling to create a hole in the ground, basically. Not much to shout about. It looks pretty bad too, to be honest. Oh, speaking of epic holes in the ground, I, I wanted to get rid of some of the excess oases lakes out here. So I kind of, um, yeah, it looks pretty nasty. But yeah, while draining one, I discovered this hiding underneath. A pretty epic hole in the ground. A series of holes, in fact. I don't know what it is about deserts, but they, uh, they pretty consistently generate really, really big holes in the ground. As you can see, even cutting into a ravine here. It's, it's pretty crazy. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's been done on purpose to make the ravines, uh, not the ravines, make the deserts interesting places to go into. I need to get out of here now. How do I do that? So yeah, uh, I want to put up a mining facility around this one, but I've been here a little while, and it was time to move on. I'll give you a quick shot of um, what I've started. Uh, I identified a, um, a plains biome in the northeast of here. And it was just far enough away from everything else that I was like, well, something really needs to be put in there. So I've uh, started working on the floor plan. Um, I ummed and ahed about it a little bit. Um, this was filled in with grass. But 
seeing this little pocket, I was drawn to the idea of a enclosed bridge across buildings all the way around, another bridge here, buildings all the way around, and then there's going to be um, a large building here, something on this hill, and then you can see I've been marking out the road, uh, which goes off that way. But um, for now I'm stuck trying to get a sense of where this all is all going in like layout wise so I can put down where the roads are. I really want to make sure the roads are in place first. Um, which is what we've got here. This road comes around. Up, up, across the bridge. Probably going to have to flatten this. And then we're into, I don't know what, probably a Y junction. I want to put a building up here with a circular bit here. And then squared bits at the top and bottom. Oh, there's room for, put up a f fort here. And I'm thinking this might be a windmill. Oh no, that's probably in the wrong place. I'm not sure where a windmill would go. Anyway, there's something cool under here I found. I like this. I want to incorporate this somehow. Um, I mean, it's just a series of... They don't go anywhere, nothing gets very deep. But it was pretty cool, and I'm coming to this idea that there's an underground. Like, you know, I've already put this in. This is probably how you're going to get to that area once the rest of the town is built. But, like, this is going to be underneath the road. So I'm already building up this idea of a city of two layers. Or town, rather. But before I get carried away with that, I need to know where the roads are going. So I know what room I've got and what buildings I'm going to put up. I mean, it's like I'm doing both at once, but it's a right pain in the ass. say adieu for the YouTube video and see if I can crack on and maybe get I get a sense of how far backwards the town is going to go like I'm building a ring around this little lake pond slash thing um, but I don't know how far back the town's going to go I don't want to make, build a major town here I want to be I want it to be a nice settlement but I don't want it to be a huge town I don't want it to get out of hand on me. Anyway, adieu again.